What is up everybody? So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Megan and I am a travel vlogger. So today we're going to be talking about Christchurch. Now Christchurch goes by a few names, Ototahi and the Garden City. It's located in the South Island of New Zealand and is the biggest city we have in the South Island. It has so much to offer from adrenaline activities to relaxing ones and also eating some of the best food in New Zealand. So on that note, let's go and check out Christchurch. <laughs> Welcome to the Riverside Market, where some of the best food you can get in Christchurch. Let's go in and check it out. The Riverside Market is the beating heart of the central city. This unique establishment brings fresh produce, artisan bakeries, independent food stalls, bars and restaurants all together under one roof. One thing you'll notice when first walking into the Riverside Market is how colourful and bright it is. It has a real quirky vibe with a lot of character to it. Make sure you arrive with plenty of room in your puku, as there are over 30 food stalls to choose from, including Turkish, Spanish, Greek and Argentinian. They also have a lot of fresh produce for your weekly shop, including cheeses, meats and vegetables. The market looks out over the Avon River, which runs right through the city, so it's the perfect place for lunch or dinner. It's open 7 days from 10am until 6pm, and the bars and restaurants are open until late. One place that I highly recommend you go to is a place called She Chocolatier. Now this is one of the coolest chocolate shops in the Riverside Market. You can go and taste all the chocolates and have one of the best hot chocolates in Christchurch. So make sure you go in there and check it out. Now we've tasted all the yummy food at the Riverside Market, it's time to go to our next spot. Welcome to the Christchurch Zipline. Located at the Christchurch Adventure Park, this will definitely get your blood pumping. Let's do it. On the count of three. Are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. See ya. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. The zipline is the longest and highest zipline in New Zealand, at 150 metres high and 1.1 kilometres long. It consists of not one, but four great zip lines. First you'll catch a chairlift to the top to get panoramic views over Christchurch. And let me tell you, these are some of the best views you'll get. You will then get to enjoy the 360 panoramic views while ziplining over trees and going at speeds of 80 kilometers. It's also a dual zip line so you can race your mates to the bottom too. That was wicked. I loved it. Do you like it? Yeah, it was so much fun. My eyes were watering coming down. It was so cool. <laughs> I loved it. The tour takes around 2.5 hours and costs $130 for an adult and $65 for a child. Bookings are easy on the Christchurch Adventure Park website and the tours run every hour from 9.45am until 3.45pm. Make sure you wear warm clothes and sturdy footwear as the weather is very changeable up at the Port Hills. Now if that hasn't convinced you to go ziplining, I don't know what will. Alrighty guys, after that adrenaline fix on the zipline, it is time to go and do something a little more relaxing. Let's go. Welcome to New Regent Street, Christchurch's quirkiest little city. New Regent Street opened in 1932 as a pedestrian mall in Christchurch. With beautiful Spanish architecture and one of the most picturesque streets in New Zealand, you can see why. The beautiful bright colours of the buildings to quirky bars, shops and cafes. This is the perfect place to feel transported to another country, right in the heart of Christchurch City. While sitting down and enjoying some lunch or a coffee, the Heritage Tram will pass you by. This is a magical experience and one of a kind, so make sure you bring your camera. New Regent Street is free to walk around, but open times are all different for each individual shop. One place that I absolutely love in New Regent Street is Mrs Higgins Oven Baked Cookies, and they are just behind me, so make sure you grab yourself a cookie when you come to New Regent Street. I would recommend going between 10am and 4pm, as everything will be open to explore, then returning in the evening to one of the many quirky bars. It's easy to get to either by parking in a local paid car park or catching a bus into the city. Now let's go to our next destination. Next up we are here at Punching on the Avon. I am so excited. It runs all the way through the Avon River and they're just going to sit there, give us blankets and we're going to enjoy a beautiful view from the water. Punting on the Avon is Christchurch's iconic river tour and one of the city's most loved attractions. It's located about a 10 to 15 minute walk from the city centre. 
First of all, you will step into your stunning traditional punting boat, with your guide dressed to impressed in the traditional punting clothing. They will also give you blankets and umbrellas if necessary. <laughs> Off we go! The tour takes 30 minutes cruising on the Avon River, passing by the beautiful Christchurch Botanic Gardens, where you will see all the wildlife and trees. It's completely peaceful, with your tour guide giving you valuable historic information along the way. It's a great way to see Christchurch from a different perspective to unwind and relax. It's open seven days from 10am until 4.30pm, but bookings are essential as they book out fast, especially in the summer months from October to March. It's $30 for an adult and $15 for a child. After enjoying a nice leisurely <laughs> ride down the Avon River, it is now time to go to our next destination. Welcome to the Christchurch tram. Now this is a great, great way to see the city. That is the tram now, so let's hop on and go for a ride. The Christchurch tram is an old restored heritage tram, and it's what runs right through the heart of the city. When walking inside the tram, you will be transported back to the olden days, with leather straps, brass handles, and beautiful light fixtures. We're on the tram! It's so nice, like... It's beautiful and the guy um, that is driving, he also gives us directions about the town. So everything that you need to know about Christchurch, you can come into the train and get to know at once. The tram does a 50 minute loop around the central city, stopping off at most of the tourist attractions along the way, including the Christchurch Botanic Gardens and Museum, the Margaret Mayhe Playground, Cashel Street, the Riverside Market and loads more shops and restaurants. So to ride the tram, it costs $25 per adult, but kids actually ride free, up to three kids per family. If you have an additional child, it'll cost you $5 per child, and this is a great option for families as it keeps the cost low. The tram ticket can be used all day to hop on and off from all of the 17 tram stops. It's open from 9.30am until 4.30pm, seven days a week. You can book your ticket through the ChristchurchAttractions.nz website or you can go to the office and buy your ticket on the day. All of the websites today that I've mentioned to book these activities I will link in the description below. And for those of you who want to join the Travel Kiwi community, you can become a member. You just click on my page, Travel Kiwi, up at the top right-hand corner and click Join. And there's two memberships to choose from. You get exclusive content from me and it shows that you like my channel and are supporting me to keep creating content for you guys. There's also heaps of cool emojis. If you can't, that's completely fine. Just hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. So I hope you enjoyed that Christchurch guide. This city has so much to offer and I hope I showed you guys that today. As always guys, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you next Monday. Bye.